the Clover of Wishes. First episode. This is our bedroom. Wow. This is very beautiful. You know, I like your living room the best. Wow, this is very beautiful. Yulia, as a professional, what do you think? I may have finished something here, but overall not bad. I see, I like everything. Here we come to the most important thing. We are celebrating my housewarming in such a modern and stylish interior thanks to Yulia. Thank you, sweetheart. So you did this? I did. Guys, I actually want to say thanks to Kade for giving me the opportunity to implement this design. And I want to tell you that you are my most cranky, but favorite client. Here's to Yulia's new projects. And for the best interior designer. Cheers. Let me show you something. Look what I got from England. 200 years of this rarity. Really? Wow. How it got through customs is a whole story. I'll tell you and you'll be shocked. You poor, you're the bartender. So funny, just because I work as a sous chef in a restaurant doesn't mean I know anything about alcohol. Here. Well, not in front of her. Guys, I understand. As soon as children are born, life ends. I think you're wrong. Kids are happiness. It's just beginning. I certainly didn't think I would say this. But with the birth of Nika, I realized it. Yes. What a drag you all have become. You just don't have kids. Beginning. No, I'm not going to argue with you. It's tricky. Daddy, daddy. What happened, dear? I have to pee. Guys, sorry, we have an emergency. You promised to tell a story. Later. And we have a daytime nap. Yes, I'm sorry. I hope you don't have a daytime nap. No. Here, you may be free. Stop. Come here. What is this? Is it bubble gum? Again? Yikes! I told you to hide the gums above. Stop. Michelle, may I? How did you manage? Dad, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Go, I'll do it. Come here, dear. I have to go. I have business to attend to. Michelle, bring the scissors, please. Can I try, please? Okay. Count how many friends Winnie the Pooh has. Piglet first. First. Rabbit second. Second. And air. Third, thank you. You're doing a great job with the kids. You'll be a very perfect mother. Yeah, yes, of course, someday. Yulia, what? Please sit here. Okay, just don't go anywhere. I'll be right there, Yulia. Sorry, guys. Dear, come here. How are you feeling? Is everything all right? Yeah. You don't feel sick anymore? No. Scared me. Did you drink too much champagne? Or is it the tartlets? I always said that Katya couldn't cook. It was a great evening, in general. Yeah, it was like being in kindergarten. One minute she had gum in her hair, the next she had to go to the bathroom. The second one wants to sleep all the time. We left at 8 p.m. Oh my god. It's really like being at a party in your 40s. You get used to it. We're planning to. What? No, 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 someday we will have a baby. But obviously not now. I'd like to live for myself, agree? 
Mm. Yeah. I can't wake up. Where's the coffee? There. Thanks. Scrambled eggs on a griddle. Everything is fine. Are you okay? Yes. I probably don't have time for breakfast. I'm late for work. I'll eat there, okay? Okay. Anyway, thanks for the breakfast. I appreciated it. Who is the cook in our family? Who in our family works at home? Have a nice day. Did you hear that? What? Our chief is going to retire. Again? <laughs> yes, and this time for real. What do you think? Do you want to be a chef? Andrew, Andrew, you're the sous chef. You will be? Who cooked the cosselet? Me, what happened? The guest demands that the cook come out to him immediately. So, go justify yourself. Again, I have to explain what the high French cuisine is. There, table five. It looks harsh. Who? Oops. This is Alexei Petrovich. Do you know hi? Of course, I worked in his restaurant, a restaurant chain. Very strict and picky. Good luck. Good afternoon, my name is Andrew. Did you enjoy the consulate? You know, I've been a fan of French cuisine for a long time. But this is the first time I've ever seen a cassoulet cooked like this. Usually they bring beans and sausage. And this one is flawless. This is a real French dish. Where did you learn to cook like this? Thank you. That's my little secret. Call if you want to share. Thank you. Hello, anyone home? How long I have waited for this day? This jerk is finally quitting, and that means you're facing the new chef of a restaurant. I'm ready to accept. Congratulations. He's already quit three times and won't quit. And it's bad luck to celebrate before it's time. What kind of pessimism is that? You can just be happy for me. I can, yes, I can. I'm happy, so that your chief, we can finally have a baby. What child? Ours, the long-awaited one. 
Yulia, you understand that a chef has to fit in. There will be twice as much work. I don't think now is the time to have a baby. I get it. We're not going to have a baby now. Then I want to know when we're going to have a baby. Let's come back to this conversation in a couple of years. What is this? A pregnancy test. For what? I felt bad at the party. I was nauseous again in the morning and decided it was time to make it. And what was the result? Negative or positive? It depends on whom. Yulia, answer me normally. Are you pregnant or not? Why? Let's see if my belly is growing or not for a couple of months. Did you do it on purpose? I will still find out how many stripes there should be when the result is positive. So, a pregnancy test. Negative? Probably I really drank too much champagne. So you're not pregnant? Thank God. Let's be purely hypothetical. And if there were two stripes here, what would you do? But there aren't two stripes. No, let's pretend I'm pregnant. If you found yourself pregnant, this issue would have to be resolved somehow. Resolved? How we can resolve this? Why don't you understand how, Yulia? There are a huge number of ways you can solve this problem. Do you, do you realize what you're saying? You're talking about our child now. What child? What child? There is no baby. You're not even pregnant. Yulia, Yulia. The hair is ready. Thank you, and I'll do my makeup by myself. Okay. Yes. A comb will come in handy. Thanks. Who's seen my dumbbells? You have to keep things in place. Every time I put them back, they're always gone. I didn't see it. Who took my lipstick? I didn't. This must be Mila. I didn't take lipstick. I know you didn't take it. So Roma took it. What? Xenia. What? Come here. Yes? No. So, where are you going? I'm going for a walk, you let me go. No, I said I'd let you go if Andre agreed to babysit the younger one. You don't have to sit with me, I'm not a kid. Me too. See? Xenia. Xenia. Let me help you. Andre, when you're chief, who will you make sous chef? I don't know, I don't think about this. I was thinking, if I were chief, I'd make you sous chef. Seriza, take the dishes by the 7th and 12th th. Seriza, hello? Hello? Andrew, please help me. I don't like it when you get right to the point. I know how you avoid it all, but much needed. Sayush and I need to leave, we need someone to babysit the younger ones. They are your nephews. 
Svita, you know that I work in a restaurant. I can't leave my shift. Who will cook for me? I've got a deadline today. I'm sorry. Not today. Sister. Bye bye. Dima, how are you? I'll try again. What did he say? Sayusha, you're not going anywhere. Andrew again excused himself. I knew it. Who is Uncle Andrew? We had him a long time ago, and you don't remember him. The last time he was there was two or three years ago, for my birthday. He also doesn't like children, especially the little ones. So what time is it? Kids, I gotta go, I'm out of here, don't fight here. Okay. Oops, shit, oops. Hello, I'll be right down. Can I help you carry the bags to the cab? I'll manage. Are you running away from me? Andre, we've been married to you for four years. I work from home to raise our child, only you don't need him. I need him. Just not right now. That's what we talked about. You said that if I was pregnant, we should solve this problem in essence. It's murder. I probably don't need to explain why our relationship is over. I said nonsense. I was just nervous. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm sorry. I'm tired of waiting. And I don't believe you. A beautiful statement from a woman who decided to sneak away from me. Were you even going to tell me about it? Yulia, as always, you only think of yourself. Me, so I'm being selfish here. Yes, because unlike some people, I think about both of us, and I need the sous chef position because I care about our family. It's impossible to listen to. It's good that we're fighting. It makes it easier to go. I'm sorry, this is not a good time. Who? Which hospital? Yes, of course. I'll be right there. What happens? My sister had a car accident. His condition is stable and serious. It is not getting worse and it is not getting better. But don't worry, the intensive care unit has everything you need. She'll get help. She will spend at least a week here. It's a miracle that she survived such an accident. Anesthesiology, an intensive care unit. That's the way it is for me, guys. <sighs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm very glad you came. Okay. Of course. Andrew? I'm obviously going to have to stay here for a while, I just wanted to ask. Take care of the children. They don't have anyone but you. Yeah, of course. Of course I'll take care of them. Thanks. Where are they? At home. Are they no? No, I don't want them to be worried. 
Tell him that I'm away on an urgent business trip. Okay. Everything will be all right. Sayushi is a big girl, Roma is already on his own. But Mila is a sensitive girl and she is afraid of being alone. But you'll read her fairy tales, okay? All right. Thank you, Andrew. Of course. I'll do it. Who are they? This is your favorite uncle Andrew, who visits you every week and gives you many gifts. He doesn't visit me. Stop. Why didn't mother call? By the way, my name is Yulia. I'm a wife of Uncle Andrew. I can see that you know him very well. Let's keep it on a first name basis. Okay. I don't get it. When is mom coming back? You've grown so much since the last time we met. You've gotten so strong. She didn't say, but she asked us to keep an eye on you. The time is late. Let's go to bed. That's what we were doing before you came. I won't fall asleep now. Uncle Andre, could you read Mila a story? I'll read to you. Go to the room, we'll be right there. Listen, regarding our conversation and your move. What happened to your sister doesn't change the way I feel about you. It's just you can't do it by yourself. Shall we read The Princess Frog? Okay, after that, I'll read you my favorite fairy tale. Good night. Okay, good night. So page 30 here. Once upon a time there was a king and a queen. Is Uncle Andrew my real uncle? Of course he is real. And? And where has he been all this time? Uncle Andrew is a cook and he works in a restaurant. When he comes home, it's very late. And unfortunately, he is not interested in anything but the restaurant. Lay down. I think they're asleep. Thanks God. And we have only one couch. It's a big one though. Which side will you sleep on? I will not sleep on the same couch with you. Yulia, will you stop being silly? Lay down. Or do you want to sleep on the floor? Me? Tell me about it. About what? Where is mom? Ksaisha, mom is on a business trip. What business trip? She teaches at university. She's never had a business trip, especially in the middle of the semester. So go ahead and tell me. Look, it's not just a business trip. She was asked by the dean's office. And you don't cover him. Let him get out of it by himself if he's lying. You can tell Mila and Roma that she's on a business trip, but I'm already 14. So what happened? Sayusha, calm down. Please look at me. Listen, your mom will be okay. Everything will be fine. She just has to spend some time in the hospital. Understand? If all was well, she wouldn't hide the fact that she was in the hospital. She'll be home soon. Mom will be home soon. I promise you that. She just didn't want to worry Mila, so she asked us not to tell you. What not to say? That when mom comes back from her business trip, there will be a big surprise for us. I love surprises, surprises, surprises. Let's go to bed. Why did you blab? Now it's not a surprise at all. Now you'll like it. Good morning.
Roma, what are you doing? Don't you see? I'm exercising. Coach says it's good for your health. What coach? On athletics. I've been doing it for a long time. At 7 a.m.? Every day I get up at 7 a.m., I do my exercises and drink a protein shake. I see. Guys, we're leaving in 10 minutes. Andrew, get up, we have to take the children. Where to? To the school and kindergarten. Come on, I'll make some coffee. Mila at the kindergarten, now you. Mom is wrapping our lunch. Oops, I wasn't thinking. So you'll have to be patient today. Andrew. What? So buy yourself something. Here you go. That's all? That's enough for lunch. Right, when the lessons are over, I'll pick you up. Put your hood on. Cool nephews. I wish you had introduced me to them earlier. Sayusha, take me to my mom. We'll be sure to take you to your mom's after class. I'm not going to school until I see my mom. If you don't want to drive me, I can find my own way. I'll take you there. Andrew. It's okay. We'll make it. Mom. Mom. I don't get it. Why aren't you at school? Vida, don't look at me like that. She said she'd run away if I didn't bring her here. Why did you lie about the business trip? I didn't want you to worry. You need to go to school, and you're already skipping. Mom, promise me you'll get better. I promise, and you promise to help Uncle Andre. And don't say anything to Milo or Roma. Why are you sitting? Go to school. Let's go. Don't forget to pick up the kids after school, okay? Okay, but in the evening you will sit with them. I have a meeting with the customer. About evening, I want to talk with you. I have an important order there and I can't afford to screw it up. A lot depends on it. That's why I can't do it today. Wait, we had agreed that you would take the evening off and I made an appointment. Yes, I understand. But today there is no way at all. Help me out, please. Next time I'll sit down. Tomorrow? Okay, that's it. I'm gone. No, Andrew, wait. What are you doing? Salmon with sorrel. 
I can see that it is not a crucian carb, but it's not on the menu. I know, Nikolaevic asked me to prepare this, I don't know why. Really? Yeah. May I taste it? Sure, it fell apart anyway. Sorry. It's undercooked. It's intentionally undercooked. Look, don't teach me. I know how to make salmon lianesk. Okay, okay, okay. Andrew, Andrew, what are you doing to me? I understand that salmon and sorrel is not just boiled fish in France, for example, and Lyon. This dish has become a national symbol of new French cuisine. Well... Nouvelle cuisine? Exactly, yes to them, it's just undercooked fish. But it's true! Yeah, but no. Of course, the salmon must be cooked for a minimum time and be half raw, I understand. But you should too, for our contingent. It's not proper. What are we supposed to do now, adjust to the contingent? No, but yes, Andrew. You have not grasped the truth. The client is always right. Guys, I have to leave. Hey. Listen to me. I have a meeting with a customer. I'll be right back. Dinner is on the stove. Eat, please. This is my phone number. Call if anything happened. Can you handle it? Of course. Thanks. This is the room. There will be a karaoke bar. And you have to come up with the interior of this whole room. Any ideas? Yes. Roma, I have an essay to write. My congratulations. You and I had a deal. You play now, and then I write my essay. Cool. Give me a laptop. Wait, let me finish the game. I need to do an essay. Give it back. Okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I like it. It'll be better if the less money you have to spend on repairs. Sorry. Hello, what's happened? She's taking my laptop away from me. She won't let me finish the game, tell her something. I didn't get it. Who's taking what? Sayusha, who else? Call her. Hello? Julia, Roma is younger than you. Why would you do that? Well, I have an essay to write. I may not write it, of course. Right? Of course, call him. Sayusha is writing her essay. This is important. Don't my games no matter. Roma? What? Sorry, kids. I don't have a lot of time. I want to start the bar as soon as possible. If you're loaded with kids, then. No, sorry. I have everything under control. Shall we continue? Yeah, what were we talking about? Loft. 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 I suggest a constructive approach to the development of the concept. What? We'll combine simplicity and chic. And sorry. What else? Roma took the remote and turned on his stuff. I don't understand. What are the expressions? I watched my cartoons. Call Roma. Take it. Yulia wants to talk with you. What else? Roma, Mila is younger, and you have to yield to the little ones. 
younger ones to yield, adults to yield, and what should we do? Shit, then simplicity and chic. And they lived a long time and happily, the end of story. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll. Who will be the new chef tomorrow? Are you a fool? The kids are sleeping. Yeah, what's with the mood? I had such a great day today. I see. What are you going to celebrate? I'm being appointed head chef tomorrow. Let's celebrate that I lost a customer at the same time. You took my place in the evening with the children. As we agreed, thanks. Thanks, guys, thanks. You know I don't like all these flowers and send-offs what I wanted to say. I was happy to work with you. But to be honest, I'm tired. And it's time for me to rest. But I won't leave you, my place will be taken by another cook. Your colleague and hopefully friend, admittedly. It wasn't an easy decision. But I don't regret it. So meet your new chef, Vidya. Come here. Thank you, thank you, Anatoly Nikolaevich. Please, your word. This is very unexpected for me, but also for you, but I think we can all do it, right? Good job. Thanks. Yulia. Hi. Now we are looking after her children. You have an idol with Andrew. Why don't you have children of your own? What idol? There's no way Andre can grow up and he doesn't want to talk about children. And I'm tired. Why are we just talking about me? How are you doing? I see the suit, the car. You've changed a lot. Did you earn it all by design? Remember, we wanted to open our own design company with a big office. Yes, but there would be many employees, large monitors to discuss projects. Jim, a coffee machine for me. Well, I opened it, Art Flying Design. It's a new company. Yeah. Is it yours? Yeah. You always knew how to get what you wanted. You're the only one I missed. Missed? Well, I should go. I'm glad to see you. We were young and free. But things have changed, and I have to pick up the kids from school. I'm glad to see you. Me too. Bye. Bye.
<laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. I should go home. Anatoly Nikolaevich. Hmm. Go ahead if you need to. We can handle it. Andrew, Andrew, why don't you want to celebrate? There's nothing to celebrate. What do you mean, nothing? I left you in your position. Vidya, don't mock me. Wait. It's not my fault you didn't finish the salmon. What do you mean? I have taken the initiative. I made it myself. I served it myself. The client tasted it and said perfect. It's all fair, understand. You know, you need to work on your French. I know. Pray. I made you some cocoa. It's soothing. I didn't expect it at all. He went behind my back, the bastard. And now the chief's position went to him. The chief's position is not all there is to life. And in my life, that's all that matters. And you know that very well. You've had a tough day. Try not to get upset. What do you suggest? To come to work every day, stare into his eye and pretend nothing happened. Hello, Vidya. I'm doing great. I know what you did. Drink it. Calm down. Thanks. Everything will be okay. Okay. Listen, you have no idea who I met today. Who? Vanya. Which Vanya? Chaikin. Why? Why what? Why did you meet? I told you, accidentally, at the shop. What were you talking about? About business and work, about what has happened in our life. About business and work with the man you almost got married to. But I didn't, because I met you. I think we discussed this, that our past lives we are not remembered, we forget about this. It's been four years. He has his life. I have mine. I'm not going to see him anymore. I shouldn't have told you that. Let's go to bed. Did you put down the lunch? Yes. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Again? I need to see my mother right away. I had a bad dream. After school. Please. I need to see my mother right away. Sayusha, don't worry. If something had happened, the doctor would have called by now. Don't you understand? I need to see my mother, now. Sit down, go. What are you doing? She needs to study. Everything will be okay. Put the robe on, the rules are. Artem Pavlovich, Mikhailova had a cardiac arrest. Defibrillator fast. Mom? Saisha. Mom. Saisha. Mom, mom. The Clover of Wishes. Second episode. She's alive, but she had a brain hemorrhage and she went into a coma. I'm sorry and we're doing what we can. How long will she be in a coma? I don't know, maybe a day, a week, a month. Saisha. Saisha.
Saisha. What? Now do you want to say it's okay too? Anyway, she fell into a coma. The doctors gave no prognosis. They say she may come out of the coma in a month, or maybe. Or maybe never. Oh my god. Saisha promised not to say anything to Mila and Roma. We'll continue to say that she's on a business trip. And since this is going to drag on for a long time, the right thing to do is to have the kids move in with us. What do you think? Okay. Where are you? Come in, don't be shy, it's my home. It is not our home. I meant make yourself at home. I doubt it. It's not as bad as you think. Take your clothes off. What do you have there, dumbbells? Yes. Really? Your room is over there. Don't worry, it's spacious, there's plenty of room for everyone. Should we have moved? Roma, we've already discussed this with you. Take your clothes off, please, I'll take it to the closet. Why can't I call my mother? Because. Because there's a bad connection. Because there's a bad connection. And when will she come from this business trip? After a week or two. If the business trip doesn't last long. Cool. But I'm sure everything will be fine, help me. Hello? The dumbbells is heavy. I still haven't deleted your phone. Fania? Did you delete mine after all? Why are you calling? We have to meet. I want to show you something. I have to leave for an hour. Could you manage? Yes. Are you sure? Of course. Okay. Bye. Saisha, what are you doing? I want to put pictures. Why can't I? No, put it somewhere else. Okay. Mila, you don't have to play on the table. No. You're going to scratch it. Let's do it on the couch. I don't want. Let's go to the room. Roma. There is no need to touch. Why? Why is it bothering you? I want to put up the schedule and take the picture down. Hang it up there somewhere. Don't touch it. Okay. Roma, don't. Roma. Why are you yelling? It's a nice place. Wow, do cooks have their own awards, too? Put it down, please. Mila, Mila. What are you doing here? Can I build a dollhouse here? It is not dollhouse, you can. Please give it back, please. No, Mila, you can't. It's an amazing apartment you have. I know. I've been here 10 minutes, and I already hate her. Me too. Here, look, and here we need to replace. Wow. Are you joking? There's a view. That's where we usually discuss projects. There's the kitchen, the gym, and the recreation room. Fania, it's just like you dreamed it would be. Just as we dreamed. Why did you call me here? I want you to work for me. Ah, but I have a work. Freelance. Yeah. Really? Yes, I make good money. Okay, what was your biggest budget? So, 
I'm offering you multi-million dollar projects and a very profitable salary. It's a tempting proposition, but I can't work away from home right now. Okay, let me just show you everything. Do you know what a cucumber is made of? 95% water. Andre, don't pretend that we're doing well. We are only here because... Sayusha, I wanted to say that mom is on a business trip. What a day! Are you going to sleep here? Yes, why? No. I just thought since we... Are you still angry? Do you think I'm just mad? Good night, Andrew. And where do you suggest I sleep? I don't care. Good night. Do you and Julia sleep separately? Yes, but it's temporary. It's just because. All right, don't worry about it. I don't care. Good morning. Andrew, get up. Are you feel sick? No, I don't feel bad. Do you listen to this sound? Normal people shouldn't wake up before him. You're not normal because you have kids. Yeah, yeah. It's taken. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Roma, I want coffee. How much longer do you need? If I don't drink a protein shake the first minute after waking up, I will lose my muscle mass. Do you want there? How old are you? 10. See, si. all right, I'll drink coffee at work. Thanks for getting all the hot water out of the boiler. I will remember the invigorating shower for a long time. You're welcome. Milo, what are you doing? I helped you to answer the letter. And you sent it. Of course. Good job. Thanks. Now we're going to have breakfast. Hi, Andrew. Hi. Is it true that we have a banquet for 100 people tomorrow? Of course. I have a couple of ideas how to organize everything and which dishes to serve. Tell me, why do I need your ideas? It's just that you have no experience and I thought you needed help. Now you're thinking, and I've already done it myself. There's a lot of work for you to do. With that much seafood, you're not going to fit the budget. Why, it's all there. And for appetizers, what will you serve? Skewers with pickles. I suggest removing the julienne, since no one is eating it. It's a thing of the past. Andrew, listen, don't be offended. If I need your advice, I'll ask you, okay? Don't be late. I don't like it so much. He doesn't like. Are you 
you done yet? Now, three seconds, take it. What are you doing? Lessons. Are you copying homework from the internet? Yes, everyone does that. That's awesome. When I was a student, point it was very cold. I had to walk seven kilometers to school. Wow. Barefoot. Are you sure? Yeah. Actually, I'm not that old, and my school was close by. We did our homework by ourselves and without the internet, and I'll show you how. Two hundred and eighty, ninety-six. That's not sixteen at all. Then two. Oh, that's four. Four times two is eight. Good evening, everybody. And minus one times eight equals sixteen. I'll be right back. <coughs> What's happened? Can you imagine that he invented a new dish? My brain. He takes it out and cuts it in slices, not even boiled. You can't do anything with him at all? Anything? I don't understand what's going on with him at all. As soon as he became a chef, he became inadequate, running around, yelling at everyone. I don't understand how we put up with him. Okay, never mind. How are you? The kids are fine. As for work, a couple of clients refused. Now I refuse to do it myself. I can't afford it anyway. Don't worry about that. My salary is enough. Everything will be all right. Okay. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh my God! How I long to wake up to the alarm clock. Twenty-one, twenty-two. Roma, can you exercise in your room? Twenty-three. I need twenty-four more space. Twenty-five, twenty-six. It's cold. Why did you open the window? Twenty-seven. I need fresh air. Twenty-eight. Do you also want me, Dad? Twenty-nine, thirty. Good morning, honey. It's not good. Thirty-nine. Put me on your neck. Yeah, you've all been there for a long time. Are you joking? No. He isn't joking. I see. He is a sportsman. Saisha, you've been there for half an hour. She took the shower again. Take Mila to kindergarten, please. I have a banquet tonight, and it's going to be so crazy. I probably can't do it. Isn't this place crazy? Okay, forget it, Roma. Please. Where are the oysters? Quickly, come on. Where's the sauce? Already done. Why are you waiting? For whom is the water boiling? What is it? Sauce. That's not it. Redo it quickly. Why are you standing there like a seal? Are those eight canapes for a hundred people? Guys, everyone out there is hungry. What should I do? What are you chewing on this meat for? Vidya. What? Why are you freaking out? What do you mean? Until you stop yelling at them, they won't stop screwing up. Take it easy. Do you know better what I should do? Then go make your own excuses to your guests. You have two minutes. Chief, there's a call for you in the hall. Good for you now. You're doing great. Add some lemon juice and you'll be fine. Zenia, don't worry. What do we have here? Marinate it well. Add ground pepper and you'll be fine. Let me help you. So. Guys, don't pay attention to Vidya. He's nervous. That's why he sees himself that way. Here. What are you doing? Nothing. And like you, I know how to talk to the staff. At least they stopped screwing up. 
What, starting tomorrow, you're on the vegetable cleanse? Are you serious? Because I'm a goddamn chef. What do you mean you quit? I realized I couldn't work with him anymore. I can't do a lot of things either, but I do, because, or have you forgotten that you have to feed them? No, I haven't forgotten. And maybe it's for the best. What if I find a job as a chef in another restaurant? Of course. It's so easy. They're waiting for you everywhere. You have so many awards, Andre. I'm sorry. And if anything, we're going to sell them. I'll figure something out. Okay, start right now. Igor, what was our deal? It should be here, and the vault should be higher, right? If you can't remember, at least write it down. Hi. Does your offer still stand? Let me show you something. I knew you would change your mind. Senior designer Yulia Ermakova? Yes, but my last name is Kudryevseva. We'll redo it. Let's go. May I have your attention? Please introduce yourselves, Julia. Kudryevseva. Your new senior designer. Shall we take the cabbage? Yeah. Yulia, why didn't you consult with me before you took this job? Remind me again. Did you consult me when you quit? Or should I have waited until all the money ran out? I would have thought of something. And while you were thinking about what to do, who would pay for it all when your sister gets better, you can look for work all you want. So I'm going to work as long as I can, and you're going to watch the kids. What kind of job? Good company, a client recommended me, I designed her apartment. And how will I manage along with the children? Well, I've managed somehow, haven't I? What do you want? Yulia said you were in charge, so come on, get up. By the way, she wants to give you a me. Put it on. Put it on. Put it on, you'll be cook. All right, all right. What else can I do? Wait. We won't touch the partitions. We will pull the room due to the cold color of the walls, that's how we get the depth of the room, and the height we achieve due to the vertical shape of the furniture. Well, it's accepted, let's get to work. Thank you. Good job, you've been sorely missed here. What have you got there? Did you pick up the kids from school? They can't not do their homework. 
they fool you, sure, and wash Roma's uniform, he has training tomorrow, yeah. I'll try to be early, but I can't promise. Bye. Who fooled me that nothing was said? Get your homework done. Roma, give me your uniform. I need to wash it. Don't throw it. Now you all wait until my teddy bear is washed. Favorite teddy bear, and you are my favorite dolls. Mila, what are you doing? I want to wash the bear, it's not washed. Come here. My bear is dirty. To wash. Very funny. It doesn't fit here, we won't have enough. It's okay, everything fits. Look, it's better this way. It doesn't fit. I have a training schedule hanging here. What happened? The boundaries are drawn. If I see things on my territory, I'll kill you. What border? Are you crazy? Are you five years old? Sorry. Here. No, I have a training schedule hanging here. Why don't you have enough room? You have two tables, couch, Malbert. Because Mila and I live together and you live alone. Shit, shit. Yeah. The chef of the highest category. Death to the one who enters. The correct spelling is will enter. Learn how to write. You fool. I would answer you, but I'm not talking to you. Thanks, God. Mila, come here. Roma asked me to tell you that you... There's such a bad word in there that I don't want to say it. You little bastard. Am I? Look at yourself. Yulia. How are you? We missed you. Everything is fine. Me too. Did you do your homework? Yes. Or did you copy it off the internet? No, Andrew helped us. Wow, where is he? He sleeps. He's very tired. I see. Unpack your groceries. Mila, help us. Did they bore you? Yeah, you have no idea how. I can very much imagine. I'm glad you understand now, too. Wait! Can you sit with me? Damn, I forgot my charger at school. Can I have yours? Yes, take it in my backpack. Thanks. Yes, and milk. Milk. Oh wait, let me get it myself. Are you smook? I'm just pampering myself, give it back. I'll tell you Leah and Andre. Tell them, they don't care about us. Then I'll tell my mom when she gets back from her business trip. She's not on a business trip. Mila. 
Is it true that our mum at the hospital? Ksayusha. Ksayusha. Mila. Why did you tell them? Yes, I did. Because I'm sick of these rules. I'm sick of everything. Let's go to the hospital. I ran away, wake up the children, please. Are they still sleeping? Yeah. Why aren't you eating? No appetite. I see, Roma breakfast is ready, here. I made you your cocktail. What's wrong? I won't go to training anymore. Why? What's the point? Roma, listen. Get off. Roma. Get off. Honey, what's wrong? Come here, come here. So calm down, calm down. Do you want to watch cartoons? Do you want paint? Do you want Paley? Everything is very good. You can get to work. Wow! How exciting! <laughs> Sorry. Did you see this? Where did you get that? Found it in my laptop. Can you delete it? Well, that's a very nice picture, especially of you. I beg you, delete it. By the way, I have some good news for you. We're on our way to the site now, and this will be your first independent project. Well... Why are you standing there? Pack up. Hi, Andrew. How are the kids doing? They were very upset. Barely got them out of school, Mila cried all the way home. I see, I'm still a little busy at work. I'll call you later, okay, bye. What do you think? It's very spacious. What are your design wishes? None. What do you mean? I appreciate you for your talent, so go ahead. Congratulations on your first project. Thanks. Mila, what are you doing, Mila? I don't need them anymore. They're not real. Hello. From where? From school? Yes, it's me. Uh, 
Что? What? Ксайша, come here. We have to talk. What? I got a call from the school. Is there anything you want to tell me? No. Why? They told me you started skipping school and smoking. What do you care? What do you mean? I'm your uncle. That's right. Just an uncle. Do you remember when our birthday is? When is Mila's, Roma's, me? Don't you remember? Don't worry about it. Look, I know I'm not the best uncle. And that Julia and I are no substitute for your mother. As much as I don't want that. Perhaps you feel that nothing in this life matters. Believe me, that's not true. And the worst thing you can do is act like it. Why? What would your mother say if she came back and saw you like this? I want to make her proud of you. I'll do whatever it takes, whether you like it or not. What are you doing? Andrea is right. I don't think mom would be too happy if she saw us like this. What happened? I don't want. Come on, Roma, come on. I don't want. You're not going to do pushy PS. Do your own pushy PS. If you say so, I didn't think you were such a wimp. Me? What about the clapping? Come on. Yes. Hi. Hi. That's it. I'm out of the way. Thanks. Will you let us into the lodge? Of course, if you want. I'll make you some tea too, Yulia, Yulia, Yulia. Make us some tea and pies. Will you let me into the lodge? Of course. Yulia, make it. Soft fit. <laughs> make us three teas and three pies. Andre, it's already boiling. Give me the salt. This? No, it's the pepper. What is this? It is salt and a bay leaf. Is this it? Yes, put the salt back. Okay. Put this back. Okay, and what do we get?
Look, I want to do all the apartments in warm colors. And in the bathroom and kitchen, too, sorry. And I want an archway between the room and the kitchen, so it doesn't get in the way. I see Andre is doing well with children. Yes, he has changed a lot. I didn't even expect it. How does he feel about you working for me? You know, I haven't told him yet. Things are starting to get better for us. I'm very happy for you. Sorry. Hello? I had an idea. How would you feel about us picking you up after work, having dinner together, and the kids having ice cream? It's a good idea, but I can stay late. Okay, bringing out the heavy artillery, Julia says she might be delayed. Julia, please. Julia, I want ice cream. Okay, I get it. I'll try to get out of it. I'll call you back. What time do you want to leave? At 6.30 p.m. If you want, I can give you a ride. Yulia, we are here. Hi. Hi, we decided to have some ice cream. I hope this doesn't affect our family budget too much. It's okay. Did you choose? Yes, I'll have the usual with nuts. I'll have the pistachio one. I'll have the chocolate one. Me too. Did you do your homework? Shall we call the waiter? Yeah. I forgot to give you the project documents. Okay. Here, I should probably go. Mm -hmm. So you went on working for him all this time and didn't tell me anything. What could I do? You were out of a job. Vanya offered me good money. Look at the benefactor, huh? What was I supposed to say no? By the way, we all live on that salary. And the fact that your ex pays your salary doesn't bother you. He's just my friend. Yes. Are you busy at now? Come in. I'm about yesterday. I didn't know that you and Andrew were having dinner. Now I feel guilty. It's my fault. I should have told Andrew earlier, so... All right, by the way, Do we have a delivery today? Yes, today. Hello? Hi, I'm going to be late today. A customer is running late. I'll work it out with him and come. Are you going to be late with Vanya? Which Vanya? Vanya works in the office. I'm at the site. I don't understand why I have to explain this to you. Bye. How much longer are you guys there? Saisha. What? 
I'll be back in an hour. Please finish dinner and keep an eye on Mila and Roma. Okay. I can't go on, really. I've been waiting for him for three hours. I don't have the energy. I talked to the customer. He apologizes that he can't come now. He asked me to pass on his congratulations. I can't today. I'm already too late. Seriously, this is your first big project. No refusals are accepted. We have to celebrate it properly. Okay, but not for long. Okay. Remembered me all these years. What's the difference? I don't. I just remembered you and me walking in the park, talking until dawn. By the way, remember how we celebrated our first project? Yeah, we drank champagne back then, too. Yes, and dreamed of a big company and cool projects. We all guessed it. Yes, almost all of them. Life makes its adjustments. That's better, isn't it? It's like all these years without you never happened to me. But they were. And I don't regret that I'm with Andrew now. You're looking good. I never thought you'd start cheating on me. Andrew, please wait, please wait. Andrew, please wait. Andrew, I understand what it looks like, hear me out, please. I don't care about anything you say right now. Did you choose him? You're welcome. I want you to pack your things and move out of the apartment. I can handle the kids without you. Third episode, but an evil wizard bewitched the princess and she fell. In order to cure the princess, the prince went in search of the four-leaf clover. What is a clover? It's a plant, and usually it has three leaves. But if you find a clover with four leaves, there is a belief that you can make a wish. And that the wish will come true. Of course. If the clover will found... Hello? Andrew, this is just a stupid misunderstanding. I didn't think he would come, and with champagne... Do you usually drink champagne with him at home? If you don't believe me, that's up to you. I'm tired of making excuses to you, too. Let's decide about the children. I can do it myself. You can't do it. Let's not get in the way of our relationship and the children. I will continue to pick them up from school and help you. So it's time to sleep, Ksaisha, help me. Good night. Good night. Good night. Let's go to bed. Are you living on the street now? Of course not. I took the quartet off. You must be sad there. I try to work hard not to think about it. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. Go, and what are we doing here? This is a four-leaf clover. It grants wishes. And I want my mother to get well. Good morning. Good morning. Yulia. How are you? I'm fine. Sorry, I didn't think this could happen. Everything is fine. How long have you been away from Andrew? 
I don't know, but right now it's better for us to live separately. I will go. Yulia. I'm sorry. Oh, are you leaving already? There's a new mall with a cool design. Why don't we go and have some fun? I can't today. I have to pick up Mila from kindergarten. I thought that after you guys split up, you weren't taking care of the kids anymore. Andrew can't do it by himself. I have to go see you tomorrow. All right. Bye, oh, those kids. Who is the person who doesn't want to go to kindergarten? And if I catch you? And if I catch you? Gotcha. Saisha, Roma, hurry up. We're going to be late. Gotcha. All right. Get dressed, Saisha. Don't forget your essay. Yeah, okay. All right. I'll open the door. Help her to get dressed. Okay. Take her, Mila. Give me your hand. Hello, Andrew Kudryavtsev. Hello, yeah, and who are you? Moraviova Lina Borisovna, lawyer of social care. Do the minors Ksenia, Roman, and Mila Mikhailov live here? Yes, here, here they are. I was informed that their mother was in a coma, and I was asked to see what conditions the children were living in. Yes, of course, come in. Kids, say hello. 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 The kids are fine, the apartment, too, but like you said, he's out of work. Is that reason enough? Taking children away on this basis is a very time-consuming process. It's going to take a long time. I think you'll think of something. I got it. The last one. Take it. When are we going for a walk? As soon as Andrew returns from the store. Then we'll go right away. There he is. Let's go meet him. Hi. Hello. Are your uncle at home? No, he's not here now. Andrew. What's going on here? Andrew, they want to take us away. We really need to take the kids away. They can't be here anymore. What do you mean take away? On what grounds? What is this? Commission decision. What's the decision? What commission? What's going on? I don't understand anything. You don't need to understand anything. Contact social services for an explanation. Now don't get in the way of the work. I won't let you take the children. They're not going anywhere with you. Is that clear? Get out of here. Get out of here. Citizen Kudryavtsev, don't make trouble, neither for yourself, nor for the people. Listen to me carefully. Everything is going to be all right.
Kids, don't worry. Everything will be all right. Andre, where are they taking us? Where are you taking them? What is this place? At least tell me the address. They don't know what kind of place it is. Where are you taking them? Mila, don't worry. Everything will be all right. Ksaisha, Roma, don't be afraid. I'll be sure to pick you up. Are you hear me? Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Don't be afraid. Everything will be all right. I'll be sure to pick you up. Alina Borsovna, hello. Hi. Let's get out quickly. Kids, come on out. Come on, come on, here. The older one's over here and the little one over there. I'm not a little girl. Take them away. Don't take her. Come on, go. Let me go. Come on. Let me go, let me go. Where are they taking her? Let me go. Let me go, I don't want to leave. Orphanage. Let me go, let me go. Are you a greyhound? We've dealt with more than that. Let me go, I'm not going in there, no. Sit here, then I'll decide what to do with you. Let me go, open the door, open it now. Let me out, let me out. The little bugger. Let me out, let me out, Mila. No, no. Yulia. How did this happen? Where did they even come from? I don't know. Maybe the school called. Maybe the neighbors. It doesn't matter now. Let's go. I'm telling you, the decision was made on the basis that you are unemployed. If a person is temporarily unemployed, they can have their children taken away from them. If you were his father, that would be a different conversation. I'm their uncle, the only relative, not some bum with no means of livelihood. That's what you need to prove. In the meantime, the children can't be with you. Wait, I have a job. I'm Andrew's wife. But you left him, didn't you? Wait. We talked to your neighbors. But that's none of your business. Everything about the children is my business, and I can't have children living with an uncle who doesn't have a job and whose wife left him. That's ridiculous. I am acting in the best interests of the children. Where are they? I want to see them. First, they will be placed in an orphanage, and then you can see them. Listen to me carefully. I will take my children, is it clear? And God forbid something should happen to them. Sorry. Damn witch, she talks calmly like that. Orphanage, I wanted to strangle her. Andrew, I'm asking you. Get a grip, nervousness is not going to get you anywhere. You're right. Thank you for coming. How could I not come? I know this is in the best place. I'd like to apologize to you, Yulia. I'm sorry. I'm just a jealous fool. Yes. I know you didn't have anything with Chaikin. Let's get the kids first, and then we'll decide what to do with us. I just don't know what I should do. This is all my fault. If Andrew and I hadn't had a fight, 
if I had been home at that moment. Calm down. This wouldn't happen. Calm down, stop blaming yourself. Everything will be all right. How? I have some connections and I will use them. Really, Vanya? I'm begging you, I'm begging you to do something. Okay. I don't understand. What's the urgency? The children have to be returned back. How do I get it back, you asked? I am now asking that the children be returned to their uncle. As you say. But not now. You'll give them to me the next time I come with Julia. With their uncle's wife? It doesn't matter. Do as I say, she must see that you let them go. Anyway, don't worry, I talked to everyone. I got through to everybody. The only thing that won't work is picking up the kids today. But it's already good that we can see them. Thank you so much. I'll call Andrew. He should see them too. Wait, I completely understand, but is it worth it? Andrew is an impulsive guy after all. I don't want things to get out of hand. Let me take you alone for a while. Okay. Valera, come here. Tell me where the monitors that are sealed in the basement are. What? What are you waving? Come on, I'll show you. Come on, let's go. Take the kids out. Quickly. Quickly. What happened? Roma. Quickly. Wait, where's Mila? She's in another building. Don't run. Take it easy. Let's get out of here fast. Make sure that everyone lines up. Get out. Get out. I don't have time. Don't make any noise. Get out. Quickly. There's a fire. Mm. 
Mila. 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 Hi. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Don't worry. Everything is fine. Let's go. We're on our way to Andrews. It's okay. Let's go. It's okay. Come on. Open the door. Let's go. Alina Borsovna. Someone set off the fire alarm. Three children are missing. The ones that came with you. Okay, get the kids inside. Got it, Valera, get the kids inside. Everybody come on in. We go inside quietly. It's okay now, don't worry, don't run. Let's go in quietly. Hello, did something happen to you? Where are my children? Someone set off the fire alarm and your children are missing. What do you mean? How should I know? They came with the police and wrote some kind of act. Then they took the children and left. It is written an act of inspection of the conditions of a child stay in an environment posing a threat to his life or health. Believe me, I have great conditions. Yes, sorry, I'll call you. Andrew. Kids. Andrew, Andrew. Hi. I missed you so much. What are you doing here? We escaped. Are you crazy? Come in. Were you hurt? No. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. I promise I won't let anyone else take you away. Andrew. Yulia. Yulia. Thank God. I missed you so much. I was so scared. You don't believe. Don't even come close. We will not give you the children. Then I call the police. Call whoever you want. What is he doing here? Let's do it the way we agreed with you. This is already going too far. We understand each other. Don't we? I'll try. All right, kids, come on into the room. Okay. Go. Go. Thanks, God. I won't let you take the children. What you are doing is outrageous. My lawyers will destroy you all. <coughs> She's gone. They won't take the children away from you today, and tomorrow I'll get to it. And I promise I won't rest until the kids are left alone. Thank you. Are you seriously? Taken. So he's going to deal with this issue now. Kudryavsev, if you want me to explain it to you normally, you can call me. And the Bremen musicians like the house and stayed to live in it. Don't turn it off. I'm scared. What are you scared of? That woman would come and take us away again. I promise that she won't come again. And that man? Which man? Who came with her and Yulia? Chicken, he certainly is not to be feared. He's friend of Yulia. He's friends with that woman, too. How do you know? I saw them together, at the orphanage, through the window, when they took me away from Roma and Ksayusha. 
And what are they doing? Talk. And then he gave her some kind of envelope. She looked into it and I think she smiled. Good morning. Career delivery. Where can I find Yuli Kudryavtseva? There's her office, but she's not here yet. Could you pass it on? Yes, of course. Thanks. I ask you to come back to me. I know how guilty I am and I am ready to make up for my mistakes. Your husband, Andrew. Good morning. Hello. 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 Who are the flowers for? For you. Me? Yeah, I just thought I'd do you a favor. You've been under a lot of pressure lately. Thank you, very beautiful. That's not all. I have one more surprise for you. I made a deal with social services. They won't take the kids. No, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Thank you so much. To know that you're like English literature. Literature, good for you, so now with you. So write the task. Here's number 374. For the stew, the cook needs 6 kilograms of potatoes, half as many carrots, and twice as many onions as carrots. How many onions did the cook use? That would make a bullshit, not a stew, right? The cook is a fool who can't cook, the answer. Okay. Why do you keep looking at your phone? I sent Julia Bouquet with a note this morning, and for some reason she still hasn't answered me. Don't you want to go and talk to her in person? And I said to him that we'll make a door on the ceiling, you know, as a gimmick. And he was like, what side will it open? Yes, I know, I've worked with this customer before. He has this kind of thing going on all the time. I'm going to miss you. Me too, bye. Bye. Let's all do our homework. Okay. Thank you for the products. Yeah, I wanted to keep it. Don't, I won't take it. Well, Andrew, I'm leaving it to the kids, not you. Thank you, we'll manage. I won't take his money. By the way, you know it seems like Chaykin set up this whole custody circus. Again, are you serious? Have you forgotten how Vanya helped us? I'm sure it was part of his genius plan. You have lost your mind completely. Doesn't that alarm you? Once that woman from social services took the children away, your chicken showed up and suddenly decided everything. Because I told him everything and asked him for help. What a noble knight. I'm not even surprised you're defending him. And I'm surprised that you and I have lived together for four years. You know, Andrew, you're a really cool cook. Thanks. Those who didn't take you on as a chef are fools. I won't even argue with that. I don't understand why you're so worried about this position. If I were you, I'd open my own restaurant. I've thought about it. It just takes money. Well, take a loan. But then you'll be your own boss. I promise to think about it. By the way, someone's birthday is coming up. Mila, I don't want any birthday party. Why? Don't you want celebrations and presents? I don't want to, that's all. 
What's the matter with her? Is she always like this? She doesn't want her birthday party because her mom won't be there. So she's not going to have a party at all. Look, I have an idea, but I'll need your help and promise not to say a word to Mila. Easily. Hello? Hi, have you become a child? No, it's Mila's birthday today. Will you come? Of course. But Andrew will be there. So what? I'm going out for Mila and for the kids. Okay. How's the kindergarten going? Everything as usual, drawing. Oops, I think the lights are out. Yeah. Good thing I have candles, so get undressed. This is for you. For me. Thank you. Here. Thanks. Take off your shoe. Are you afraid of the dark? Oh. What's the matter with that? What is it? Where did we get to? Hello, my name is Snow White. That's right. I'm Snow White. Welcome to our kingdom. What's your name? Mila. It's nice to meet you. And also in our kingdom lives a wonderful zombie. <laughs> Did she know that there is no princess in our kingdom? Will you help us find her? Of course. Okay, then listen carefully. We need a beautiful girl. About five or six years old. About this tall. With a charming smile. Have you ever seen one? I'll be a princess. You? Can you handle it? Of course. Well, then sit on your throne. It's yours now. Thanks. Now you have become a real princess. Oops, and now we have a princess in our kingdom and everything was fine until... Until an evil, big wizard appeared in the kingdom. I'm going to cast a spell on all of you. <laughs> oh God, Princess Mila. Help us get rid of this evil wizard, chase the zombies at him. Dear zombie, I order you. I beg you to banish the evil wizard. Come on, go away, go away, evil. We, we won. Victory. So what do we have here? Wow. Make a wish. All right. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, of course I understand everything. Yulia, wait I just got a call from a client at the bowling alley. He wants a more youthful version of the design. Has he lost his mind? We'll have the materials delivered tomorrow. Exactly. We need to redo all the invoices. Otherwise everything that will be brought to us tomorrow we can just throw away. My god. It's Mila's birthday and I'm already late. I'm really sorry. But if we don't do this now, the company is going to take a huge loss. Yes, yes, of course we will. Yes.
What a bunch of people. And we weren't expecting you. The holiday is already over, so I'm sorry. You're a little out of time. Can I give Mila a gift? Mila is already asleep, so please leave it here and I will give it to her myself in the morning. Andrew, we had a force majeure at work, and we were sitting and sorting out the invoices. I couldn't leave. And what kind of force majeure is that more important than a child's birthday? I even know his name. Yes, his name is Vanya Chaikin. We work together. He's my boss. Apparently he isn't just a boss anymore, is he? Will you pass it on? Yeah. Here you go, thank you. Kids! Hi! Is something wrong? Roma, let's do it again. Is this money for the restaurant? Yes, I mortgaged the apartment and the bank gave me a loan. Is that a lot or a little? That's a lot, enough to open your own restaurant. Andrew, that's great. I think so, too. I'm sure that when your mom gets better, she'll appreciate it, too. Cool. It is so cool. It's perfect. Just what we need. Now you understand why I didn't want there to be a shoe store or something like that. There has to be a restaurant. Lots of people. Music. A cozy atmosphere. And definitely great food. I'm glad you like my idea. Well, if you're happy with everything, Let's sign the documents and the premises are yours. But I have one condition. When you open the restaurant, that would be a discount for me. Because I'm going to be your regular customer. Deal. And if you're good, I'll pull my friends along as well. Great. Please. Yes? Hello. We start the rescue operation. Who and from what are we going to save? You are away from the gray of everyday life and problems, and you need a place to unwind. And this is the best place to do it. Nice restaurant. Did they open a new one recently? Right. I've already booked a table, because there's a two-week waiting list. You're good at persuasion. You have half an hour to pack. Wait. Open your eyes. M.M. Hum. I recognize this place even though it's been renovated. Yes, this is the restaurant where we had our first days. Yeah, it used to be a lot easier. Well, yes, they've risen a lot over the years, but we haven't stood still, either. <laughs> what? Nothing, I just remembered the first and last time we were here. <laughs> yeah. And I was very much afraid that you would order more than I could pay. Yeah. I was very embarrassed to tell you about it. So you think it was an accident? Really? Did you know? Vanya, you should have seen your face when you looked at the menu, how your eyes widened. But I won't be modest today. Yes, yes, order anything you want. Ready, ha. Huh? Of course. Let's call. Okay. Thank you. That's how I knew for the first time in my life that I had achieved something. You've accomplished a lot, don't be modest. You are persistent. Yes. But as it turned out, that's not what I needed. 
What? Who? The person I would wake up with every morning, to whom I would rush every morning, that's what you want too. Isn't it? Everyone Vanya wants that. Yulia. You deserve to be happy. Next to you there should be a man who does not criticize you, does not accuse you, and sees you for what you are, real, talented. Funny, insanely beautiful. Thank you, Vanya. I'm very pleased to hear those words, and it really is a wonderful evening. This is just the beginning. Do you recognize it? Shall we dance? Okay. Of course we're going to dance. I have the feeling that all those years without you never happened. Even if they were, I just want to forget about them or cross them out. You know what difference it makes. Though, if we're here together now... Vanya, excuse me, I need a minute. You know, oh, my God. Let's get out of here. Come in. Hello got here as soon as I could. You said it wasn't a phone call. In general, we need an operation. We can do it. So why didn't you talk about it before? We hoped for an improvement. But there was no miracle. The indicators worsened. But there were no other options. Okay. What do you need from me? My consent or what? Not only that. Surgery costs a lot of money. Andrew, did something happen? Yes, Sayusha. I was just at the hospital. Your mother's condition has worsened and she needs an urgent and expensive operation. But it's money for your restaurant. Yes, but your mother's health is more important right now. And I ask you not to say anything to the younger ones yet. All right. Hello, hi Andrew. I'll need to talk with you. Yulia, listen, let's do this another time. I'm in the hospital now. My sister is having an operation.
Hi. Hi. Is there any news? They've been operating there for four hours. Right. You wanted to talk about something. Yes. Andrew. So? I'm sorry. The surgery didn't go well and your sister is still in a coma. We are powerless. So, what should we do now? Fourth episode? What is it? You are the only close relative. So your signature is required. I won't sign it. Listen. Mikhailova will not come out of her coma. In fact, she is already dead. There is no other way. What is it? What am I going to tell the kids? That I killed their mother? Andrew? You did the best you could. I can't believe this is the end. I'm just not ready for it. Look, you don't have to make a decision now. Come to your senses. Think about it. Give it back, give it back, please. It's coming. Watching a lot of cartoons is not healthy. Isn't it harmful to watch this? No, it's not. Oh, Andrew. What's going on here? Sayusha does not want to give me the remote control to switch to cartoons again, and she does not want to switch it herself. <sighs> Kids, I have to tell you something. What? That I love you all very much. And I love you even more. I know what you wanted to talk about. Do you? It's always like that with you adults. You live your lives well at first, and then you do something and suffer both of you. What are you talking about? I mean you and Julia. That's what you wanted to talk about, right? Yes, about that. It's called a crisis in the relationship. It happens. But in fact, deep down you love each other and you have to tell her that. Be sincere. We love it. It's nice to get advice from such an experienced girl. Perhaps Yuli could have been brought back if it weren't for that Shaken. What kind of a name is Shaken anyway? He's like a spider dragging her into his web and won't let her go. But you said yourself that he set it all up. Yes, but Julia would never believe it. Unless I get the proof. Your order, please. Thanks. Thanks. What did you want to talk to me about? 
I don't think our future relationship can continue without the truth. So I'm going to tell it like it is, and you do what you know. Okay, I'm listen. You know that Andre and I have lived together for several years. And moreover, he is my husband. My relationship with Andrew is over for now. But something unexpected happened. Very unexpected. I'm pregnant. Your meal. Thanks. Yulia, wait a minute. I'm sorry, this is really unexpected for me. Honestly, it doesn't matter. I understand that you have a past and I completely accept it. I'm sure you'll be a good mom. If you let me, I'm ready to be there for you and raise your child. Look, I can't get over what you said. How does Andrew feel about this? He doesn't know. Mm -hmm. He's having a tragedy with his sister right now. And I thought it wasn't a good time to tell him. Well, yeah, you're right. Why not? He's the father, whether I like it or not. Agree that you were never in first place for Andrew. Now you need to think more about yourself and the baby. And Andrew only brings you problems now. Maybe you're right. Andre, you should try it. It's no use. You saw that woman from social services. She will never admit in her life that Chaikin paid her. Well, then talk to Chaikin. Why? And that's why. It's no use. You saw that woman from social services. She will never admit in her life that Chaikin paid her. Well, then talk to Chaikin. In short, you'll provoke Chaikin and expose him. And the recorder will record everything. How cool was that? What do you think? I emailed everything to you. Yes, I saw it, but I'm not sure. Well, it's a very cool clinic with very good doctors. You'll get a checkup from them and they'll take care of you. Yes, I understand. But it's very expensive and I have a good clinic near my house. 
Honey, don't think about money at all, for me. The most important thing is your health and the health of your child. Okay, can I think about it for a minute? Of course. I'll wait for you in the parking lot. Hey, Vanya, can we talk? Look who's here. Do you think you can get away with all this? Do you think you can bribe and take children and look like a hero in Julia's eyes after that? I'm gonna. What? I'm going to tell you the truth. Julia came to me and asked for my help. I helped save the children. That's all. Wait. Don't you really like it? It's just that you think I'm bad. I'm good and smart. You're not stupid. You know who you're dealing with, right? Okay, fine. You're stupid. I explained. Julia is mine. The fact that we broke up with her is pure chance. And I always get my way. Always understand me or not, understand. Andrew. He ambushed me here. Told me not to touch you, and started beating me. What? Leave. Don't touch her. Leave, please. You don't know what he did, he? Get out of here or I'll call the police. May I? Yes. Does it hurt? She'll find out what you're like anyway. Look, I could probably write a statement, but I'm not going to do that. Revenge is for the weak. I have decided and will divorce Andrew. Let me get you a lawyer. I can do it myself. Julia, I understand that you can do everything yourself. But now you have me and I care a lot about you and your baby. Let me take you to this clinic, please. So you are in your eighth week. Look at the screen, it's your baby to be. It's still in the fetal stage. It's just forming. Right, now it's just the head. Then you'll have hands and feet, and in a month we'll have fingers and we'll be able to count them. Would you like to hear a little miracle? It's your baby's heart. Congratulations. Thank you. Come in. Thank you. Thank you for taking such good care of me. I had no idea that you could treat me and my baby this way. Congratulations. Us. Have you told him? Not yet. But I know what to tell him now. Take me to him. Yes, let's go. I didn't think you'd bring him with you. You said it wasn't a phone call. 
Yes, Andrew, I am filing for divorce and I ask you not to write, not to call, not to follow me anymore, otherwise I will go to the police. Yulia, are you crazy? Yulia, wait for me in the car, I'll be right there. Listen, if you don't leave us alone, one phone call and they'll take the kids away from you. You don't want that, do you? That's fine. I'm looking, mommy, in all the pots. And I'm sure to find that clover. I love you so much. I wanted to tell you that I was starting to excel in sports. Coach says I'm moving forward all the time. I'm going to a competition soon. And I have to confess that when you fell into a coma, I started smoking. But don't worry, I quit. Get well soon. Aren't you going to say anything? She can hear everything. She just can't answer. Svita, you have beautiful children. I'm such a fool that I didn't realize it sooner. We all miss you. By the way, Andrew, how are you doing with the restaurant? No way, no one will give me a loan anymore, so the idea is postponed for an indefinite period of time. You're not going to do anything now. Where does that leave me? Look, I think I know where to get the money. It's beautiful. Now you understand why I want to open a French restaurant here. This place is just perfect for a restaurant with authentic French cuisine. Andrew, do you think we have many fans of French cuisine? No. Why? Because we have no culture, no concept of how to make restaurants. Because all restaurants are a travesty. No, Andre, you're wrong. We don't have French restaurants because people don't need them. They want sushi and pizza, everything else is a failure, believe me. I'm telling you as a restaurateur with 20 years of experience. Well, there are exceptions. There are, but the risks are too great. And the odds are too small. Too small. Look, let's open a pizzeria here and call it Adrian's after you. No, listen. Let's open a sushi bar here and call it Sushi by Andrew. Can you imagine? We'll be out of business in six months. Alexei Petrovich, can I be frank with you? Of course. You see, I've been cooking all my life since I was a kid. And it just so happens that French cuisine is the thing that's closest to my heart. I want to do what I love. I do not want to cook pizza, and the more I do not want to cook sushi from Andrew. So I will have a French restaurant or no restaurant at all? Well, that's a pity. Pity, Andrew. I like you. And think about the pizzeria. It's a good idea.
congratulations. With what? Okay, you got the money for the restaurant, didn't you? I didn't get it. There will be no money and apparently there will be no restaurant and nothing. Hello? Andrew. I was reminded of your delicious cassoulet and decided to revisit your proposal for a French restaurant. How about I invite my French partners over and you cook us a French dinner? And if it's as flawless as your cassoulet, I'll invest in opening your restaurant. Do we have a deal? I promise you, you won't regret it. So we don't have a lot of time, so we'll take the packages apart now, then we'll make the blanks. Am I going to cook something? You can boil water. Of course. There's a pot over there, so you're going to help me cut the vegetables. What am I going to do? And you wash the peppers. Yes, I will. And Julia could have helped us. Let's not talk about Yulia anymore. Julia chose chicken, and she doesn't need me. That was the end of the story. Well, she doesn't know what a bastard chicken is. What do you suggest I do? Talk to her. No, I won't. I'm tired of it. And what are you giving up so easily? Saisha, let's please not talk about Julia anymore. What a weakling you are. Saisha, Saisha, Saisha. Where did Saisha go? What happened? There are fewer of us and more work to do. Hurry up. I need radishes. Hello? This is Ksayusha. Can I see you? Actually, I'm working. Is there a problem? Here. Thanks. I was just passing by and thought I'd never been to your work. Ksayusha, we're not little kids. Did you and Andrew break up? I'll tell you this. Andrew's behavior did everything to keep me from going back to him, even though I wanted to. But he loves you. Listen, Yulia, this project needs to be checked urgently, okay? Yes, I'll do it now. And you remember that today we agreed. Point to go to the restaurant. Okay. So you left Andrew for this. Ksayusha. Did you see his eyes, Sneaky? If it weren't for him, you'd be in an orphanage right now. Yeah, he set it all up. Okay, I understand that Andrew told you all kinds of nonsense, but there are other people besides Andrew. I have to work, so I'll walk you out. Thank you, I'll do it myself. I'm here for you. Come in. Yes, that's right. Just like I asked, romantic music, lights, a projector, and a screen. Please don't let me down. It's a very important day for me. Yes. Yes, I'm waiting for him. I'll meet him now.
We are pleased to welcome you to our humble establishment. Good evening. I hope your dinner won't spoil it for us. No way. Who are they? And these are my nephews and my helpers today. Cute kids. I believe a place in the kitchen is for professionals. Don't you agree? I completely agree with you. These are my French partners. This is my sous chef, Andrew. Bonjour, speaks in French. Sure. Come in, come in, come in. Please, tea, coffee. No, thank you. Come in. I don't remember why you were so insistent that I come to you. Why couldn't we talk at the clinic? You see, I have a very specific conversation with you. You were recommended to me as a person who can do a lot. Children are good, of course. But Julia is not pregnant by me. Well, it's not too late. If you and Julia are sure about your decision, we can proceed with the abortion procedure. You see how it turns out. Julia wants this baby. We have to make sure that she doesn't suspect anything. What do you mean? Well, you're a doctor. Give her something, I don't know, make her miss scary. I just don't want that bastard to be born. Do you understand what you're asking? This is murder. No. It's an embryo. I'll pay you what you want, even more. Of course, I do what I can. I write fake certificates, and sometimes I diagnose whoever needs it. Well, that's exactly why I came to you. But what you want? I'll never go for it. Don't ever call me again. Wait a minute. Hold on. Make her miss scary. I just don't want that bastard to be born. Yulia. I don't like surprises. You're going to love my surprise. I promise. Okay. Yulia. Yulia. Onion soup. Have you decided to serve onion soup for such a responsible dinner? Exactly. Because onion soup is the hallmark of French cuisine, the main secret is the slow simmering of the onions. The longer the onions simmer, the better the result. I wonder what awaits us next. My signature dish, tender veal liver lianist. You're a gourmet, Andrew. Well, now that we're getting into such Leonian cuisine. Let's change your original plan. Prepare us some salmon and sorrel. Salmon with sorrel? Salmon with sorrel. Any problems?
Ranka, stand down. We have a new plan. We need salmon with sorrel. Quickly run to the store and buy a fillet of salmon. The money is in the jacket. Got it. Cut the peppers. Don't forget to take the cap off. Okay. Ksaisha, I'm sorry. I can't talk to you right now. I'll cut it myself. There is always no answer when I need one. Taste it. What do you think? It's raw. Great. What do you mean? This is what we need. Get the dish ready to serve. Can I taste it? It's so beautiful here. Tonight is a special night. I'll do it myself. Thank you. Thank you. Half raw salmon. Exactly as much as it needs to be. You're doing great. Thank you. Andrew, are you out of your mind? Don't you look at your phone. I beg your pardon, come here. What kind of language is that? Now your life is being decided, and not only yours. I know, that's exactly what I do. Where is your telephone? Here, what's happened? Look. Children are good, of course. But Julia is not pregnant by me. Excuse me, I... Goodbye. Thank you. If you don't mind, I took responsibility and ordered everything myself. I don't mind. Let's drink to us. Julia, the first time I saw you, I realized that you were the one. Then when I met you, I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh my god. Julia, will you marry me? No. Andre, you brought the kids too, so now this is your way of regaining my trust, is it? I'm just going to be more and more disappointed. Wait for me here, I'll be right back. Julia, I know you're pregnant. And I also know that he's a cheater, and he bribed social services to take the kids away. Enough. 
Vanya, may I please, why are you talking about Vanya like that? Vanya, unlike you, acts like a man. He helps me when I need help. He cares, and he takes care of my child, among other things. Our child. Mine, you didn't want it. I have proof that he wants to get rid of our child. Andre, the proof is in the deeds Vanya proposed to me. I'm sorry for ruining your evening. I found you. I found you at Clover. Children are good, of course. But Julia is not pregnant by me. Get off. Well, it's not too late. If you and Julia are sure about your decision, we can proceed with the abortion procedure. You see how it turns out. Julia wants this baby. We have to make sure that she doesn't suspect anything. What do you mean? Well, you're a doctor. Give her something, I don't know, make her miss scary. I just don't want that bastard to be born. Do you understand what you're asking? This is murder. Yulia. Did you want to kill my baby? Yulia, we can have children of our own. Why do you need a child from him? The bill, please. We wanted to tell you, but you didn't want to listen to me. Forgive me. Forgive her? <laughs> Where's Mela? She was with you guys. Mela? Mila? Mila? Mila. Mila, where are you? Mila? I think I know where she might be. The hospital is close by. Mom, mom, mom. I found it. I found a clover with a wish. Now you're going to get better. You're going to get better. We would have noticed her. Mila. Mila, thanks God. Are you okay? She doesn't wake up. So the fairy tales are not true. Why doesn't she wake up? Tell me why. Andrew, can I talk to you for a minute? Wait for me. Andrew, you're all stalling. It can't go on like this forever. I just can't sign it, you know, I can't get my hand up. Do you understand that she is essentially dead already? Or do you want her to be like that for the rest of her life? What is it? May I? An application to disconnect a patient from a life support machine. What do you mean, disconnected? What does that mean? Kids, this means that. Is mom going to die? Rum, Ksayash. Look, kids.
wait. The doctors are probably right. It would be better for her if it all ended. I don't want my mother to die. Me too. Mom, I found a clover. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, Mom. If it's better for mom, we're willing to let her go. When? Now. No, no, I can't do that. Stop. Don't turn mom off. Stop. I think it's a success for the next two weeks. All the tables are booked. If this continues to go, have to expand. <laughs> Alexei Petrovich, I have another idea. Yes. France is a culinary rich country. What if we had separate evenings for each region? I support you. It's a good idea. But let me put it this way. Why don't you put it all in electronic form and mail it to me? Deal. She's coming to you. Hello. Hello, Julia. Good luck. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, hi. Why are you late? Is everything okay? The customer was so picky, but at least, hi, congratulate me, I got the job. Cool. You'd better tell me who you have. Yeah, who? Boy or girl? Or boy and girl. Can we keep it a secret for now? Yes. So, who's going to choose what? Yes, I'll have onion soup and taste salmon after all. I'll have onion soup, too. I'll taste the veal. I'll think. Well, while Julia is thinking, who's going to help me in the kitchen? Me. 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 Whoever is last does the dishes. Mila is faster, faster, faster. <laughs> 